Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Gaming we're returning to a let's play of War on the East, where we have the Germans advancing on Moscow. So in the blizzard conditions of the winter of 1941, as the Soviets are extremely hardly hard pushing on our northern flank, we have just managed to encircle Moscow down here with just a tiny slimmer of a division. So the, the uh, 36 Infantry Division, Motorized Infantry Division is east of Moscow. Um, there is an entire cavalry corps in the city, so we will not be able to make it into there. Um, I'm very concerned that this is going to be, uh, this is going to fall, but at least we are advancing onto the city itself, so that at least is very good for us. And very nice to see that we are building up some defenses over here or some some encirclement over there. I'm very concerned about the situation up here in the north. I think they, the Soviets in their turn now uh, will be throwing us back pretty badly also around Reshev. We'll have to see whether what we can hold over there. Uh, on the other hand here in the middle I think things are looking up a little bit so that's nice to see that we are holding there. Um, yeah, so let's see what's gonna happen. We are gonna turn it over towards the Soviets now And we're gonna see what they are going to do You can see we made some advance over here just doing the last turn over here in the north of Moscow I'm Also somewhat concerned about the situation up here. There are a couple of very isolated Russian divisions down here uh, But they have the potential to cut off our raid supply towards Moscow Which would be pretty much a disaster for us, uh, but let's see about that in the next turn so yeah, for now this here looks alright-ish, but we have to see. So we are flying a couple of uh, recon missions. That's not to be... Too, it's not too surprising really. Uh, the big question is what are they going to do in terms of battle. Yeah, just recon missions so far. And this up here is, is really good. Okay, now let's hold here for a second. So they are taking the position just east of Reshev, which is interesting, and I think they haven't really been able to to drive us back over here. We've only got a single division here defending against, uh, well, four to five times the odds, uh, but we are holding out, so that's nice to see, and we are doing a lot of damage. I mean, we are losing nearly more than 200 men in total, but they are losing more than 1,300. Another big battle over here, a little bit further towards the east. This is also very, very Ah, very, very tough for us because this is threatening this railway line. And if we are forced to withdraw and they can move into here, uh, which they might be able to do, then we are losing. Ooh, and here is the attack that we very much uh, were afraid they would come in. So they are attacking somehow with what? With a couple of tank brigades. This is this is nearly evenly matched in terms of, of numbers number of men, but... Okay, so we, no, 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 we are, due to the defensive positions, we are vastly out, outnumbering them, and that is good to see. So we are holding out here, and they might do another attack, but for now, no, interestingly enough, they are attacking south here from the river, so uh, this little bulge here is is under attack. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing here. They, they don't have the advantage in terms of men, it's two divisions. Are they trying to break out? Are they afraid that they are going to be encircled? Because this attack is, is definitely not going, going anywhere. I mean, they're losing two and a half thousand men against our hundred. They are attacking over here, which is to be expected. We are fighting a, a retreat over here. It's going all right, I guess. We are killing about a thousand men there. On the other hand, we are going to be kicked back sooner rather than later, I think, at, at some point. Odds two to one. Still, I mean, we are killing a lot of men here, but we are being pushed back. So, this is not a question of if, it's a question of when. This is this is way too light in, in terms of our forces. Being attacked over here, we are holding out, that's okay. But yeah, this is not, this is not tenable. The situation here in the, in this, ah, and here we go. No, on their side, they, they don't. They're trying to wear us down, I believe. Oh, look at that. that. That was actually... I did kind of miss that, but that was an attack by the cavalry corps that was in the city. So that's interesting to see. Another attack over here. A little bit... Sorry, I just need to pause to, to make sure that we are not missing anything. So another attack over here, I believe, that failed to kick us back. Only over here. And they have moved up here towards the north. So I think, I think this red red line will count as, as interrupted, even though we have some units on there. 
They're attacking over here. Another time though. We are holding out and, and we are doing enormous amounts of damage towards them. But at some point sooner rather than later we are gonna be forced to withdraw. But it's not catastrophic. I mean we do definitely need to need to strengthen the line over here. Uh, but for now it's alright if we are if we are just buying time over there because if we can keep Moscow and that would be really the big thing. And we are holding out nicely. I mean this is this is good and we are killing lots and lots of men so they are getting weaker and I think it will take them time some pressure to to hold out on there. Oh, this is this is an interesting one. So we had conquered this area up here and I think we've just started to build no, we've we've just identified this as a very good position where we can hold on very nicely uh, because there's the river and that is is uh, good pretty good for us. So yeah, I like that we are holding this position. This this bend in the river is sort of dominating and it's very hard for enemy forces to cross there. Up over here in the middle, it seems a little bit I don't know. This river is is an extremely good defensive line, so that's very nice to see. Ah, over here, this is this is not good. We are being pushed back from this bend in the river. So a little further dude in the south, and I think we've just started building up a fortification there. So that's very unfortunate that we are already losing this position. Um, but yeah, three to one ratios with good support on their side. That does force us to go to go back. But nevertheless, um, it's not that bad. I mean, oh, and yeah, they're starting to create a little bit of a gap here. Uh, with only a couple of our divisions here, but I mean all in all that's okay This is even a little bit further towards the south, so yeah, they are definitely doing a number on us here We're gonna have to see and they're doing some stupid attacks that I really don't understand I mean across the river over here. This is this is going to be pointless At Aurel itself. This is an interesting one because Aurel is kind of isolated. It is supplied by this rail line but it is an important victory point and it is urban terrain so I do want to keep it and it's interesting to see that they are starting to try to attack our flanks here uh, which they aren't fully successful in doing so though yeah they are losing a lot of men there and this is in the very south south of Aurel still where again we are holding out nicely causing a lot of damage on them and we're moving a little bit here toward, towards uh, the south I guess so they are taking one by one here. Yeah, but mostly we are holding out nicely, also due to our fortifications um, and various other modifiers, so that's looking nice there. They are resupplying some of their units, that's uh, understandable, but not too big for us. So the big news is that we did manage to keep Moscow in check, and it's actually very lovely that they did attack and, and try to break out from Moscow itself because that weakened the units in Moscow and it's it's still going to be extremely tough city fighting to kick them out of there uh, but it's definitely nice that we have a good foothold on them and, and they don't receive supplies they count as isolated um, that is all, always a very very good thing for us there right end of logistics phase we are losing a lot of men 17,000 men due to the cold mostly still they lost 16,000 killed and a number of uh, men disabled, which might come back at some point, so that's good to see. And all in all, I think we are doing alright over here. Lots and lots of panzers being destroyed, which is not great for us. Uh, so we are going to have to look at the construction as well. So yeah, let's take a look at the situation in Moscow there. They are almost ripe for the taking. And some of their units over here have, have been reduced significantly in strength, so that's that's very lovely to see. Is there any victory points, victory point further to the east? How about that? Um, so no, there's only Tula itself, which would be a swing of 300 points. Orel is an important victory point, a uh, victory point province again, 300 points, but nothing further in the south. So it's all in the north, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, there's Kalinin, 300 points. There's Rishef which is 450 points. This here is is would be nice also to to supply reasons. But yeah, no, it's actually it's actually definitely be Moscow here with a 1000 point victory swing um would be the most important one to take. We can actually take a look at the victory points here. 
So far, the Soviets do have much more than we do. Mostly due to the fact that they are not really killing more men, but it's counting more for them. They've got a multiple of 5 compared to us, so 260,000 men means uh, 260 points, whereas one more than 1 million men uh, means less points for us. They are getting a couple of points from Ostrov, I guess. End of turn. We would be getting a lot of points for, for keeping Moscow at the end of any turn, though. So that would be... This is a very, very tempting target. And they don't have that many combat men. You can see they mostly have support... I mean, mortar and, and similar units. But they only have about 48 cavalry divisions. Or cavalry squads. So that's what? Like 600 men? Plus a couple of sappers? That's all they have in, in terms of infantry combat. Which, of course, is the most important thing in a city. So, plus a couple of sappers. These are extremely important. And they're going to be extremely useful. I've got maybe a thousand men defending Moscow here. Still very well dug in. I mean the fortifications must be level 3. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Level 3 fortifications. Plus heavy urban terrain. Plus a fortified region. Yeah. This is, this is going to be a very tough knot to crack. We've got a good number of divisions over here that, that would be very good for that, I suppose. And we could do, do a massive attack with a lot of units here. Um, still, I'm not sure whether that is the right way or whether we would want to cross the... Issue is most of our units are on the southern bank of the river, on the river Moscow, I guess. So, we ideally get these guys up here on the other side of the river first. But you really can't get here due to the zone of control of many of these units so it's going to be tough to get them there um, on the other hand a couple of you guys here might come south i'm guessing well if you get rid of these yeah, i guess you could start a very deliberate attack into moscow itself i mean we sort of built up the 27th core to do that they can't really do that right now can't get you over here really that's a pity Mostly due to these guys, I, I guess, because we would be crossing the river under zone of control. Yeah, but it's pretty much impossible to, to get across the river there. And even if we got rid of these guys, I mean, these are these are the really big troublemakers here. So yeah, I suppose moving these guys into there and, and then sort of attacking that would be the way to go. Up over here, you guys have hold out very bravely, but you are under a lot of pressure there, so that's okay. It's good to see that we are keeping Reshev for now. And we are building up some fortifications. Uh, let's have a look at the supply situation. Okay, so it has been cut off here. Nevertheless, it seems like the rest of the supply is flowing through here. Interesting. I would have not thought that that would be possible. I think we do have someone over here. So you definitely... We'll, I guess, make a way up here in the north. And let's try to get this quite right. So, yeah, you are here. Yeah, and you can come by these, these, by these places, I guess. So these four things would need to... You, unfortunately, we can't go east before this point. So, yeah, I think this way, though, is the way to go. And then you can just come up here. And link up that way. And I think that might actually be alright. So if I take you. And tell you to repair here. Move up here. Repair here. And can you move further? No you can't. Okay so we'll need to protect you over here as well. Um, definitely yeah. And you've got a good number of movement points. That's nice to see. We will need to make sure that you can't break out over here. These guys are still a thorn in my side. So. Uh, they will need to be dealt with at some point. You could move up, but I suppose that would cost you a zone of control. Would it? I'm not sure. Yeah, so let's try the attack before we do that. This will need to be stabilized. How is it, how is it looking in the very far south? Well, all right-ish. I mean, they have 
They are coming towards us, but they are sort of squishy in the rear, I, I feel. They don't have too much there. We have someone over here, yeah, an infantry division. This is starting to look a little bit threatening. It's basically two divisions that are streaming here. They are a little bit shy on, on resources up over here, I feel, though. We've got two divisions over here, which I suppose if we were a little bit more aggressive, we could maybe isolate one of these guys. Maybe. Can you advance anywhere? Can you advance? We might be able to cut off this single infantry division. And open up a lot of terrain for them to, to be a little bit annoying towards them. You're a very strong division, and kind of isolated. Not much we can do about that. Yeah, they've pushed us back from over here. We might just want to reoccupy that. They're very strong over here. That's a lot of divisions, but I mean, if we can keep these divisions where they are right now, I might actually be happy. You know what? We can send up some of our tanks into their rear, even though we've got basically zero supplies. Speaking of sending stuff to their rear, it dawns on me that they don't really have a lot of stuff over here. This is basically wide open. And maybe, just maybe, it might be worthwhile to send some stuff over here. Disrupt the supplies of all of these guys, sort of threaten them as well. Prevent them from forming too much of a threat there. There's no way how we can cut off these guys' supply. Uh, unless we strike onto this area and this area up here. I mean, this would also be a very... Getting torch off would be hugely important because that means their supply doesn't flow to Reshef itself. But that would be kind of tough. Especially since we can't attack across here anywhere. Anyway. We might want to start pushing up against this position here a little bit more so that we can cut them off over there. Can also occupy this little town here. That's going to be nice, I think, because... Yeah. If we have infantry over here, it makes it life di more difficult for them to, to just to start break breaking through over here. We'll not cut off any supply, but it will safeguard our position a little bit more. And the town, I mean, town is 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 nice defensive terrain, not not hugely important. But yeah. So, I suppose the most important step to me is actually. Oh, well, not the most important, but one of the most important ones. Let's do a deliberate attack over here. Yes, finally. Finally, you are surrendering. 15,000 men. That's good to see. And that is is taking a big, big concern out of me. And, and it does free up a lot of troops. They're now pretty much out of movement points because we did a deliberate attack over there. But I just didn't want them to have retreat another time and be be there for the future to pester us. So what we're going to do is we're going to send you go Ooh, you are very 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 low on fuel. How can you be so low on fuel? What's going on here? Supply details. You're only being supplied in phase two that's that's understandable still. Why are you receiving so little fuel? Are we are we sort of very sh short on fuel? Uh, let's have a look at the... Motor rating was increased, that's nice to see. Yeah, weather is going to be extremely tough anyway. Unit withdrawal, flam punters are withdrawing, that's unfortunate. Construction organization is reorganizing. I think you were sort of sent back. You're being upgraded to a lot of new infantry templates. That's alright, but probably not that important. Production. Yeah. So how do we look in terms of synthetic? So fuel. Oil. We are producing oil. We are producing 22,000 tons of fuel. And I'm guessing 60% of that is being sent to, to the Eastern Front. So we do get it. 
No, we are probably producing even more. Because we're also producing synthetic fuel. So 33,000 and 60% of that, so let's call that 20,000 or so, is being shipped towards the Eastern Front. Do we see how much we are using? Some panzers being converted, that's nice, but probably not that important. Some other stuff being converted. You're swapping a couple of things, including modern stuff to less modern stuff, that's never quite good. And a lot of captured cars. Well, yeah, I think we are vastly, vastly short of what we need. We do have a couple of T-34s, so that's interesting. Army status. Yeah. Yeah, we are short 30... Is that... is? Are we short 300,000 men? Yeah. <laughs> Vehicles looks alright. And then... I think fuel should be somewhere down here, shouldn't it? No. No, 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 no there it is. Units want only 10,000 fuel. So why why are you not getting the fuel that you need to get? Is it due to... You're not that far away from the railway either. You're very far away from your headquarters, I grant you that, but... Not even from the railhead. Over here? I mean, is the, this is not repaired. It has not been repaired, no. I suppose what we can do is move you out. So yeah, let's grab the headquarter unit here. And then can you get back here yeah, at least? But even that is not very far. How are we looking in terms of the rail connection up here? Still not really making any progress. This is this is a little bit disappointing honestly. At least you're coming up this way, so that's nice. But we definitely need a, a link up here. You're coming down here, that's good to see. You're making very little progress over there. Connecting this up is going to be alright, but not really critical. We've got a couple of units here, which we could shift towards down here. We could likewise send them up over here and, and try to be a little bit more proactive there. Striking into this vicinity here would also be nice, just to disrupt them. I think a lot of these rail lines must be must be pretty much damaged. Yeah, so next time we're gonna attack Moscow and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the tough one I think. Um, if we do capture Moscow I'm fairly optimistic all of a sudden even though we still need to draw a lot of troops here. Uh, to be dealing with all of these Russians uh, making their major offensive there in the north. Um, but if we can do that, that'd be great. So, yeah, for now, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I do hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.